Hi guys! It's been a while since the time we first held and reviewed Terranus QX7 radio, and since that time this radio has matured on the market, got one minor revision, got lots of fans and definitely became our favorite. From the very first try it seems almost ideal, missing just a fraction of X9D Plus features but working great and costs much less. There is no other radio on the market with the same functionality and price to performance ratio. The only huge advantage of X9D Plus that time was the availability of M9 magnetic hull sensor gimbals as further radio upgrade. Those gimbals felt solid, stable, smooth and precise. And we've got used to them so much that QX7 was placed on the shelf waiting for its turn to be upgraded. And finally, after Sky fulfilled its premises and started to supply M7 magnetic hull sensor gimbals for QX7 radio. We couldn't stand the chance to grab a pair and share our opinion. First of all, we want to mention that there is nothing wrong with the stock regular gimbals. They work great, have good centering and hardly noticeable if not exist on center jitter. They calibrate precisely and so on. But when compared to hull sensor gimbals in real life, it becomes apparent that M7 aluminum block don't allow any twist, have more tight feel and they are way smoother. That's why we are upgrading. Each M7 gimbal is supplied in a small soft box with extra screws. All gimbals are exactly the same, there is no left or right or whatever, so just grab a pair in the nearest store and they would fit. Gimbal construction seems very familiar, we've already seen the same in M9 gimbals for X9D Plus radio. CNC aluminum base with aluminum crossbars covered with a soft rubber to create this pleasing feel of stick and points on centering. For bearing design, magnetic hole sensors, ratchet and tension bar for throttle, and tension screws for other channels. By the way, sticks have aluminum hollow shaft, it might be important for the future upgrades. Now let's start upgrading. First of all, we have to open QX7 case with those four screws. Done. Now we have to remove those six screws. and disconnect this cable to get rid of the stock gimbal. Done. Ok, placing our new M7 inside. Two things I have noticed in here straight away. M7 gimbal cables are a bit shorter than expected. So I have placed this gimbal so that the size sensor cable goes through the plastic cable holder and another one is just tied to the first one with a zip tie. Another thing is that stock gimbal would sit much higher at their pudding. M7 gimbals look as if they are located too deep inside the case. Now let's compare the stock and M7 gimbals in terms of stick lengths. As you can see, the shortest stick lengths on both gimbals are almost the same, as well as the longest one. But this is true only if both gimbals are placed on the same height. In our case, M7 would be sitting about 4 to 5 mm lower than regular gimbals, making the longer and shorter stick lengths consequently smaller. Now, installing throttle gimbal. Here we would have to remove spring load from the throttle axis. I removed the corresponding screw, lifted throttle crossbar all the way up, and used that screw to keep it like this. And one more thing is to adjust throttle stick tension bracket. Everything is done, it took me about only 15 minutes. Assembling everything back together and here it is, our new Terranis QX7 with the final and the most desirable upgrade. We hope that this radio would start to be regularly used from now on. As a final step, we have calibrated our new sticks and checked whether the tentering is ok and jitter is absent. Yes, everything is fine. Channels are rock steady. But what is the most important is that M7 gimbals are silky smooth and would last much longer than any regular gimbal based on the mechanical friction and potentiometers. You can find a link to our full review in the description to this video. Upgrade your radios and stay tuned.